is up recruits listen up because today i'm gonna learn you some minecraft mm -hmm. so listen up guys like i said today is gonna be a pretty big day here in uh Huncala. first off we're gonna update to 1.17 and of course i'm not gonna reset the entire world that would be pointless why not just make a new world after that no we're gonna be using the ultimate program mca selector yes this program is really good for picking out individual spots in your world that you want to delete or change uh, for the updates so that's what we're doing today we're gonna hop on over there and i'm gonna show you how to get this done this is my minecraft world or at least what i've explored of it and everything that's orange on the screen here is what we'll be deleting today now you may think that these big blocks right here are chunks but actually the smaller blocks right here are the real chunks now this is a program called mca selector you can download it online pretty simple just download the program upload your file through this selection here and from there all you want to do is select the area that you want to delete and of course delete it and all of those chunks have been deleted which is why they're all grayed out or blacked out all right let's hop back onto the world and see how things have changed okay so in uh, in this general direction is the new area and i'm kind of nervous i'm kind of nervous to check it out a little, a little nervous so uh, bear with me all right let's go <gasps> what's the new area is it this just the birch is, this the bir is the birch new i don't i thought the birch was here originally i'm confused is this no this is new that's new i think <laughs> i don't even know but it's not what's above ground that matters to us no rather it is most certainly what is below the ground yes speak to the top of my head so hopefully we'll be able to dig down here and find plenty of deep slate and whatnot see feels so good to be home looking at my beautiful, beautiful world. If you don't already know, I've been uh, hopping on over to the Corecraft server and uh, hanging out with those guys. It's been pretty fun, pretty fun, but you know, got a little homesick, so here we are. And today, we're going to be doing plenty, plenty, plenty of resource gathering. Get out of here, Joe! Yeah. Walk away shamefully. No phantoms today, thank you very much. But yes. Oh, that's a that's a hot air balloon big plans on the horizon plenty of resource gathering i'm going to display what we need here on screen it's it's a lot of stuff and i definitely overestimated everything just to make sure i'm not going to be short on anything better to have too much rather than too little uh, you know creeper explosions and whatnot dropped blocks you know mistakes are made so we're going to be doing lots of resource gatherings let's get to it you yeah. First up on the list, we're gonna need shulker boxes, which we will grab from the good old barn here, where I keep my shulker boxes stored. Yes, we're gonna have plenty here. Three already made, and we're just gonna make some more here. I'll be back with you. Bada bing, bada bang. Next, nine stacks of warp stems. Oh, so beautiful, so complicated. Oh. Easy peasy, look at that. We got perfectly nine stacks already made. Bam. Nothing to it, people. Nothing to it. Where are my brain cells? I don't know. Those two guys are just rubbing together real hard today. Erp. Now we're gonna need a few stacks of spruce logs. Look at that. We're on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. It really pays to automate. Let me tell you, if you, if you having trouble getting stuff done, just, 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 just learn redstone, please. Just do it. Like, just enough to automate stuff. Just, just do it. Just do it. But regardless, back to business. Next up, we're gonna need nine stacks of iron blocks. Sounds like a lot. It isn't when you got two iron farms. I think this one will suffice just enough. Just enough. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Plenty. Plenty. Okay, 
Wait, why do I still have the shoulder chest? Let me go return those. Hello, Captain Katie. I salute thee. Boom. That's for you. That's for you, my guy. Next up, we're gonna need 25 to 30 stacks of Prismarine. That's right, a lot, a lot of Prismarine. Basically an entire Shulker box. That should suffice, 27 stacks should be okay. That's in between 25 and 30. Maths! To the Guardian Paw! Ludicrous speed! Look at him, look at me, look at that sucker run! Yo, Mr. Mr. Foglin! Get out, get out of my tunnel, man. Why well, you gotta ruin things for me, okay? Get out of here. With your stupid spawning in daylight and whatnot. Ah. Probably gonna have to do some farming here. I don't know if we have... Oh, no, we do. Okay. Nope, we're good. Wow. We are just... We are just wrecking it today. Wow. It really pays. Tell her to me. Wow. And just have random resources stacked up for no apparent reason until there is a reason. Ow! Stupid! Oh, nope, heading back. Heading back. We also need nine stacks of sea lanterns. I'm not sure if we have that. That's a little more, a little more expansive, a little more elegant. And we do. Wow. Wow. I'm just, wow. I'm just killing it, guys. What can I say? What can I say? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. B E A beautiful. This is just all resources that we just had lying around. Next up, 50 stacks of terracotta. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't, we don't have that. We that's 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 a problem. We're gonna have to farm that, or mine that, I should say, because there's no way to farm terracotta really, other than well, you can't really farm it. You can trade for it, but it's not guaranteed by the villagers to just have the type of terracotta that you want, which for me is cyan terracotta. So because of that, we're going to need nine stacks of cyan dye as well. Yes. Yes. A lot of resources. Mm -hmm. So mesmerizing. <laughs> beautiful. Oh, yes. My beautiful, beautiful bacon. We're going to need that today. Back on through the middle. I forgot that I had stuff. Give them the new textures. Uh, I forgot that this was here. <laughs> All right, now recruits, I'm about to learn you something today. A little trick, beautiful little trick. You need some blocks, specifically terracotta, in a fast fashion, real quick like. Zoom, zoom. This is what you do. You simply just walk up to a block and mine it. Ooh, like magic. Ooh, and even there's some in the shulker boxes. I'm telling you guys, this trick is revolutionary. Don't be skipping out. Don't skip out. Please ignore the giant hole in the side of this mountain that uh, was not there about five seconds ago. Don't question things. Just accept it. Okay. All right, let's get Alan out of here. Yeehaw. Ooh, do we have enough cyan? And we do! Plenty, plenty, plenty. We're just gonna need one row of these. Nine stacks will do us just fine. I'm gonna have to drop off some of this terracotta first, though. Of course. Be back with you. Next up, two shulker boxes of glass. All right, looks like we're going to the desert. 
Now, it has actually been quite a while since I've been to the desert. Last time I went there, I think I got like, I don't even know, 10 shulker boxes of sand just to bring back. I have some left, but not quite enough for this decently big project. No, stay away. Anywho, let's go get some sand so we can make some glass. And you know what? I just realized I do not have a nether portal to the desert. Yeah, we're gonna have to change that today. Oh yeah, your boy's so rich. I'm about to enchant a pair of flint and steel. That's right. Hold on, this won't do. This won't do. Invince a steel. Oh yeah. Not sure why I did that. Just felt it was necessary. Gotta flex with my flint and steel. You can call me a fire starter. What? No, just, just stop. Please just stop. Oh, that's right. I just remembered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other desert where I usually mine is where my end portal is. Yeah. Oops. But might as well set up another portal here as well. It'll give us another little project to set up a, a sandstone and sand themed tunnel. Yeah, whatever. Aww. And now we have a portal. Cool. Wow. This is like day one Minecraft stuff. Let's see where it is. See if I can see my stuff. I can probably see my tunnel from here. Where is it? Where am I? This seems precarious. Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, cool. Not difficult at all. I'll just link this up at a future date. Until then, it shall be on top of this nether wart tree. Beautiful. I should really probably write this kind of stuff down. Yeah, seems like it. But whatever. I'll figure it out in the end. Eventually. Ah, yes, much better here at our ugly dugout desert. All right, let's dig up some stuff for no apparent reason. Yay! Alrighty then, we have a lot of sand. I kind of went overboard and went ahead and filled up all the rest of the shulker boxes that we had here. So we're going to go ahead and take these on back and just take what we need for the glass. Okay, okay. Now we just need to go and smelt up all the sand. I think I'm gonna save some of it for later because we got plenty, we don't need all of the sand. So we're probably gonna smelt two shulker boxes worth of sand, about 50 stacks and save the rest. Into the super schmelzer you shall go. As I said before, this is the new 1.17 area that I just reset when I was on MCA selector earlier. So of course, this is where we're gonna mine for deep slate, amethyst geodes, copper, all the new goodies. Now all we gotta do is find an exact spot to settle down in this new area, set up a mine, and hopefully we'll find an amethyst geode. Ooh, but uh, yeah, first I'm gonna have to go and heal some of my tools, cause my shovel is not looking too good. Alright, I'll catch you in a second. All right, we healed up our tools, specifically our shovels. Now we're in this new area where we're going to start our new strip mine for 1.17. Now, I hope this took 
This is my first time using MCA selector to delete such a large area. So I'm concerned that it didn't take because this area was a birch forest before, I do believe. And it doesn't, I think it's changed. Like the, the land masses seem different, but I'm just not entirely sure. So we're gonna go ahead and dig on down. If we find deep slate, then we know that it worked. If we're digging for a while and we're not finding nothing or anything, if we're not finding anything, then yeah, we're going to have to see what I did wrong. <laughs> We're probably gonna want some torches as well. Yeah, that's probably smart. Ah, yes, I love my illuminations box. Having a properly sorted ender chest, it's just, it's just so useful. Highly recommend it. it. It'll take you some time, but you got everything you need right in your backpack, pretty much. And of course, we hop right into a cave. Leroy Jenkins! I'll be back with you. Ah, copper, it worked. I see copper, yes. Oh, yes. We're gonna need a whole butt ton of this, but not from the mines, no, because we're gonna be building a copper farm. Yes, I've revealed to you what this whole, the purpose of all this resource gathering is. We're gonna be making a copper farm and we're gonna make it look a real pretty. Yeah, so say hello to a lot of these guys. Well, what's inside of these guys right here behind me. Uh, um, by the way, um, I'm in pain. <laughs> Do you see all these arrows? There's one going through my arm into my rib cage. That's that's pretty metal, bro. That's that's pretty brutal. Gonna go ahead and leave my shulker boxes right here and head on back to the mines. Wow, wow! I hate myself. You guys were probably screaming at me as soon as I walked into this mine. There was there was copper right here. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Just the polar difference of going from the Corecraft server, where I have pretty much nothing, to this server, where I pretty much have everything, <laughs> is just, it's like culture shock, almost. I, I feel like the game is almost too easy now that I have my full netherite, efficiency 5, everything, and my ender chest filled with anything I could possibly desire. Yeah, I'm kind of spoiled on here, and I like it. Ooh, lichen. My very first lichen of 1.17. I need to be very careful. I got to get some shears. I think I got some in here. Uh, yes. <laughs> lichen farm coming at you. Probably the easiest farm ever. It's literally just a dispenser with bone meal. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I got good and bad news here. Bad news is there's a bunch of creepers around this corner. Okay, a couple creepers. Not that not not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. But good news is that's 100% an amethyst geode. That's that's smooth basalt. That means that's an amethyst geode. We found one without cheating, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We did it here together. Thanks for the help, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. Whoa, weird glitch. Are y'all seeing this right here? The ender chest. Yeah, everything's moved to the to the left a little bit. But then when I place it on the ground, it's perfectly fine. Weird. Very weird. Super weird. Whatever. Doesn't really affect me. It's just odd. Ah, this is like one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. You already know what I'm about to do. Oh yeah. Ah, ah. I just want to find a gravel deposit that just goes up super high. Like that would be so satisfying. Deep slate. Boom. That's what we need. Two birdies in one. Let's crack on through here, see what we got. Now we need to make sure we don't kill, kill, we don't break the budding amethyst. Those are the amethyst blocks that give you the crystals. Now if you break those, you can't get them back. No silk touch, no piston, don't work. You gotta keep them where they are or else they're gone forever. Ah, first amethyst block. Beautiful, I gotta get rid of some stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's probably mobs in here, I can hear them. See, that is a budding amethyst. If it has this little crack on it, this little X, that means that these are going to grow amethyst clusters. If you wait a very, very long time, they will bud, and you gotta make sure that they have air on each side in order to grow as many as possible. Like that, yes. And on the other side as well. Are y'all gonna come at me?
Is that it? Is that all? I guess so. Alright, cool. It's a pretty big one, it looks like, as well. Decently sized. I found a couple smaller ones in Corecraft. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Alright, I've already mined out a lot of this, and I think I underestimated the abundance of this, or overestimated the rarity. There is a lot more than I thought. I'm going to go over to the Amethyst Geode, focus on that for a little bit, collect the crystals and whatnot, and make sure that all the sides of the budding amethyst are showing so I can maximize rates. Alright, I'm gonna sort out all of this random stuff with these here shulker boxes, and then we're gonna tackle this Geode. And actually for this, I'm going to turn off the beacon just to ensure that I'm not breaking any of the uh, amethyst. And what better way to view this than by a glorious time lapse, reviewing our progress in a magnificent, magnificent manner. Let's roll it. Okay, I have finished digging out and filling in this entire amethyst geode. So now we can just easily swim around, grab crystals, just be careful not to break the geodes. Easy peasy. Beautiful. This is going to take a while. <sighs> Meanwhile, while I'm collecting all these crystals, make sure to, you know, go down there, like, subscribe, comment with your thoughts. Do your thing. Please. 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 So. This is our haul just from one, maybe like one and a half harvests because I did have the uh, crystals that were, or the clusters that were in there when I originally found it. Now if I f use fortune three on all of these, that will yield us about 10 stacks of these shards right here. So that will be more than enough. And that went a lot quicker than I really thought it was going to be. I simply just let the clusters all form as I was mining down here. Along with the clusters, we got plenty of good stuffs here. Tons of iron, tons of coal, some diamonds, redstone, plenty of obsidian, just because I've been running low, copper, gold, as well as some old blocks and some new blocks with plenty of calcite that we got from the geode itself. More here, plenty of beautiful, beautiful, pretty sounding amethyst blocks that I'm going to make some awesome pathways with. We also got Deep Slate, but we're going to need a lot more than just this. And of course some Tough. 
Now we're gonna go back and drop off all of this stuff in the cathedral, and I'm gonna come back and get more of the deep slate here, because we're going to need about, I'd say about three shulker boxes worth of deep slate, so we almost have one here. So, one third of the way. Oh yeah. But first, you already know, I gotta do just one thing. Now what we need to do is make some more room for the new blocks here in the storage system because I don't want to have to sort these manually. Some of the new blocks I'm probably going to have to sort manually, you know, the rare blocks like the diamonds and redstone and whatnot. I'm, I don't think I'm going to sort that out, but definitely the more popular blocks like the deep slate, cobbled deep slate, and the calcite. That, that we definitely want to sort out. Oh, and the tough as well. And the smooth basalt. Oh my gosh, we need to make so much more room. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, and I am back. I've made a few changes to the item sorter, as you can see here. I just replaced some items with the new 1.17 items. Got calcite up there, deep slate down here, smooth basalt, you know, the necessities, copper right over there. And I also was trying to figure out what the problem was with the shulker box preview resource pack that I have. If you have seen, usually I'll go over a shulker box and it will show me everything in the shulker box, not in words, but with the blocks themselves. Um, yeah, that's not working. And I believe that it's because of the update. Um, I checked GitHub and they have a new one for 1.17, but I downloaded the resource pack. I downloaded the data pack and it does not seem to be working. We just got the regular, regular ones here. And yes, the resource packs are on you can see them right here but I they're just not doing a single thing um, not sure why but yeah so that's cool that's fun um, so we're gonna have to live without that for a while maybe we'll find a fix in the near future but other than that we have also made a few changes and as you see I got some cool wings Check them out, check them out, check it out, check it out, bring them out, bring them out. I got the new Ender Wings, and I really like these because, well, first off, I like the way that they do that. That looks cool. And then I also like them because it matches the netherite gear more, and it just makes sense. Like, you go to the end to get the wings, to get the Elytra, so it would, it would make sense if the wings looked like the Ender Dragon's wings rather than just a random set of wings. Of course, I got these from Crafting Tweaks, or sorry, Vanilla Tweaks, and um, it's a data pack. And they also have a Phantom Wing set and a Vex Wing set. You've probably already seen, I used to use the Vex Wing set, and I really liked it. Um, I think I like the Ender Dragon wings more as far as on me goes because it matches the netherite, but I have to say I like the Vexes more for this statue. Yeah, the, the Ender Dragon wings don't exactly match the statue that much, but what can you do? What can you do? I might switch back to the Vex wings if I get tired of these, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And if you do go to Vanilla Tweaks to get all of these resource packs and whatnot, I highly recommend renaming them and individually downloading ones that are different like you can group together you know all the variations or the quieter ones you know the things that make things quieter just group together the data packs instead of just making one big long list because from there it's really hard to differentiate one from another if you end up not liking one of the resource packs and the entire list of the ones that you downloaded all in one download then you're out of luck you're just gonna have to delete that and go back and download everything again so go ahead and download things individually and rename them so if you do end up not liking one of the resource packs you can just easily turn it off or delete it regardless we have sorted all of our items, got our shulker boxes emptied, let's get on back to mining. And you know what guys, I just came in here for a second harvest, and I'm realizing now, there's no other opening. There's no opening to a ravine or a cave or anything, which is the rarest type of geode that there could possibly be. Typically with amethyst geodes, you have some sort of crack in it, an opening to, like I said, a ravine, a cave, a mine shaft or something. For this, nothing. This was, I mined through this. This was, this was the only part that was showing, which I believe is extremely rare. Cool. Not only did we get a ginormous geode, but we got a fully enclosed one too. Double rare. What, what? Just here, my super rare amethyst geode. Oh yeah. Ooh, wee. Thank you, Mr. Beacon. 
made this process much smoother, much smoother. Y'all, check, check this out. This, this all right here. Yeah, you see all of this? Yeah, you know what this used to be. This used to be all deep slate, baby. Yeah, baby. This was all filled in and it just keeps going. There's more stuff down here, around here. Yeah, it, it just, it just keeps going for miles, for miles and miles and miles. There's more back here, more around this corner. <sighs> this took, this took hours and hours and hours. I didn't even get through all the deep slate. This took absolutely ages, you guys. And yes, I saw that redstone. I, I just don't care, okay? Because look at this, look at this. One, two, three, not quite four, but four, probably like five shulker boxes of deep slate in total, including what we have taken to the cathedral over there. And then we also have more of the precious goodies, you know? Oh, look at the diamonds, ooh. This is probably my favorite block now. I absolutely love these two right here. The deep slate redstone ore and the deep slate diamond ore. Ah, oh, just so pretty. That, oh, and the lapis too. Just look at that. I just love it. It's so beautiful. And of course, we got plenty of more, plenty more amethyst clusters. This isn't including the ones that I showed y'all earlier. So in total, we have about, uh, I think it was like five to seven stacks. I can't quite remember how much I had before. And of course, some regular old blocks. We got some tough as well. The tough is actually pretty rare. I'm not sure if I just got unlucky. I was hoping to find more than that, but that is all the tough that we could find in this area. So hopefully we'll find more in the near future because I do want to build with it. I don't have any big plans for it, but I do like the block. I like it a lot. So yeah, that is that is what we've done here today. It took absolutely all day to get all these resources, clear out this entire area, make this big old amethyst geode, the rarest of amethyst geodes, a big one, and it has no holes. Yes, it has been quite the productive day. And now... I need to go to sleep. Uh, this is this is bad. Um, whew, my eyes are struggling. Okay, uh, I'll catch you later.